What's a werewolf princess to do when she finds herself in a relationship with the cutie across the cul-de-sac in Del Sol Valley? Well, if you're Ms. Lily White, nay Kitty, formerly of Moonwood Mills, you pack yourself up, move to Northern California, and hope you can blend in and raise your family. Hi everybody, it's Andrea, aka Violet Kitty 411, and we are finally back in the Kittyverse. I have had a lot of stuff going on in my real life, not the least of which was getting hit a second time by the Kia boys. Yeah, hope you get caught, not gonna lie. And I was actually playing this all the way through, almost completely, when my internet crapped out, which me meant that I lost my entire recording. So hopefully I can repeat what I did. Uh, and just a lot of things going on. Uh, real quick, let's get a little bit of housekeeping. Life by You has been delayed by six months, and I'm not mad. I mean, I'm a little disappointed, not gonna lie. But back in 2004, when The Sims 2 was supposed to release in March of 2004, less than a week before it was supposed to release, we were told that it was delayed for six months and it released in September of 2004 and it was an extremely stable and enjoyable game. And I'm sure that Rod Humble actually had something to do with that decision as well. So uh, disappointed but not mad. So hopefully really hoping for a great game to come out and they're going to revamp a lot of things so yeah am i disappointed yes of course i am but i'm excited about the final product so anyway let's get on with the show we've got lily here who is still pursuing her cure seeker her son reginald is in my estimation kind of the star of this show because like uh, growing Together is primarily about kids, so he has, uh, he's almost completed his whiz kid, almost completed his social, he has completed motor and creativity, and then we'll work on some of the, my, some of the multi skills, and hopefully we'll be able to get them all done. I have actually completed them, uh, had kids complete all eight aspirations during their childhood, even without tiny living, but with a club setting, so that shouldn't be impossible and yes Daisy is very loud and annoying okay so there's that and Caitlin right here she just grew up we gave her a favorite color which happens to be green and dad needs to take a shower because yeah you stink there Kent it is New Year's Day we're gonna see what we can do and get things done let's get on with the show so I did New Year's resolutions for all of them, and now we're going to actually get Mr. Reginald here, his social butterfly, going to end the family life, and we're going to start a new club. It's not going to have a special name, but there we go. And we're going to choose child. And the reason I ended the gathering is I didn't want him to be in instant friendship with everybody right away. And then we're going to delete that. And now two adults, Lavina and Lily. And there we go. He's met them. And now let's start the gathering. Okay. Yeah. Congratulations. All right. And now we're going to wait for everybody to show up. And here, dad's going to go take a shower. Then he's going to write a book. Mom's going to write a book. Little sister is playing with emotion. And first, let's go ahead and make friends with Billy Jang. And we're going to interact with her four times. That should work. And Lily actually pulled up the werewolf journals. How perfect is that? I love that for her. Okay. So, yeah. That's great. All right, Reginald, interact with Billy. Okay, that's one friend. One friend down, four to go, because we already have made friends with one adult. That's awesome. Okay, good job. We'll move on. Next, we're moving on to Atlas Michelson, one of the new characters that came with Growing Together. And I'm going to have to get this Growing Together kind of wrapped up because I do want to do a horse ranch 
LP and we're not sure where we're going with this because currently we do have werewolves and I think that the horses would be afraid of werewolves. Not gonna lie, I think that's not the best choice for them. All right, we've got two friends. Let's find the other one. And finally, we've got Christy Sigworth. Hey, I heard your mom has been, you know, possessed by some evil alien plant. Okay, we got that. Now we just need the one grown-up. And now we're going to go meet the mayor of Henford on Bagley, Ms. Lavinia Flex, whose name I don't remember. But okay. Become friends with Lavinia. Oh. We're so close. So close. There we go. Achieved. Now, since it is New Year's Eve and both the kids want to stay up to see the countdown, we're going to allow that to happen. But what we're going to do is have Mom call to start a slumber party. Oh, yep. Something just happened. Not sure what, but there we go. Slumber party gold event. Now, we can now do gold events on high holidays, so that's actually an improvement. Let's do this with our host, Mr. Reginald White, and guests, let's see, we are going to have Christy Kent, not Clement Frost, although that would be kind of cool, Caitlin, Lily, Lily, Reginald, and let's see, Lavinia, and Billy, and I think that's everybody. Okay, great, so we'll get that done and get it started. So when I do a slumber party, I like to make sure I fulfill the party goals as well as the aspiration goals. So I don't wanna hit the aspiration goals until they show up as the party. And so first let's go ahead and play some games. We got little sister working on her art. Let's get some games, that's done. Okay, let's have some watching TV, that's easy. And so watch TV together. That's why having the club setting is really great because a lot of these are a lot easier. Oh, mom, are you finished? Okay, why don't you actually go make some food? And we're watching a little bit of New Year's Eve. That's great. Cheers. Okay, and let's see how our kids are looking as far as that's concerned. That's okay, we'll get it done. Now let's get some dancing going. I mean, we're having a right old party here. And it seems to take quite a while to get the dance going, even though there's already lots of people. Come on, let's all dance. Let's dance. Put on your red shoes and dance the blues. Is that David Bowie? I think it is. Come on, we got people dancing. All right, well, they're all watching the countdown. That's great. Okay, I turned off the TV. Maybe at this point they're going to start. Did we get it? Okay, we got, uh, come on, dance together. There are more than three people dancing. Come on, give me the, give it, give it, give it. Come on, give me, okay, there we go. Tell stories on a sleeping bag. And now we've got tell three stories from a sleeping bag. Let's do it. We're going to ask Mrs. Fang, hey, you want to put down your sleeping bags? And somebody's going to have to clean that up. Okay, great. And now you tell a story about this. Okay, let's, everyone except for little sister, because I have her doing something else. All right. Listen to me telling a story. All right, and I've got a great a great, uh, I've got the gold, so let's go ahead and we just have to tell us, tell more stories. Yes. <laughs> and it's New Year's and we're actually going to let you watch that little girl. Let's get this going. Come on. Shoo, 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 shoo. Yay. It's New Year's. Happy New Year. Okay. Okay, Reginald, you've got one more story to tell. Get that story told. Yay! 
All right, now let's make a friendship bracelet. So Billy sat down at my oh, drawing yes. table and I need her to get up. So let's give her a hug and now make that friendship bracelet. We'll give it to her. All right? That's enough talking. More friendship bracelet making. There we go. And now we'll give it to Billy. Okay, you got this, Reginald. Give Billy that friendship bracelet. You want to be my BFF? Yay! All right, now it's the Chief Golden Slumber Party. We have got everything. So watch us go. Ending early? Yes. And that is the second one that I completed for him today. And the cool thing is, is he levels up in charisma just by being a great party host. That's great. Okay, so now that we've locked that in, we're going to end that gathering. Okay, thanks for coming. Have a great day. And let's send everybody home. All right, now with the total multitasking, let's get start the family life again and do some, oops. Do some rally the troops and get everybody in a good condition. Okay, rally the troops. Little sister, how are you doing with your art? Uh, and you're almost finished. You have one more, finish that monster. Okay. And brother, we are actually going to have you do some play ca playtime, Captain. And now we're actually going to do this. The first time I made a club, I did it without the family life club activated this time I'm gonna make a club for him with the family life activated and you're gonna see why first I'm just gonna go ahead and disband this one okay family life is activated now the reason I didn't do it the last time is since growing together was act was added if I start that particular aspiration with an existing club activated it doesn't count for the friends but for this particular aspiration, let's go ahead and create another club, random, and it says three kids. Okay, let's see, I forgot to add kids, choose category, age, child, and find three kids that we do not know. While it is activated, confirm. And that completed that aspiration, so next I just have, or that, aspirational goals so next I just have to ride a bike for four hours but why don't you dominate your homework and after you're finished with that you can do your homework and Lily is starting to rage she's up there Atlas has decided to hang out for a while that's fine your parents are gonna call and Reginald is Ooh, Lily just reached for the writing level 10. That's awesome for her. Reginald is studying imaginary homework, apparently. Ken likes metal. We love that for you. I love that my kids are getting along with their imaginary homework, apparently. Love that. All right, Reginald, why don't you go ride a bike and we'll wrap up this playtime, Captain. You're not going to get that done before you have to go to school but at least we can get a couple hours of it down safety first or as Mike Rose says safety third I love that and I have just reached out very sim guru played the sims for a hundred hours that's this save only that's per save so that's great so I've been playing the kitty verse for a hundred hours that's great yay and Lily just finished her book so she is finished with her resolution great and Kent, we need to have you starting a side job. There you go. Get that done. And Lily, I know you need to work on your emotional control, but why don't you sell all? There we go. And just so you know, in case you weren't aware, when the plants revert like this. I'm going to see if it works. It doesn't always, but first I'm going to move them into my inventory. Uh, 
there we go. Just like that. And now I will hit the back button and it didn't work this time. That's okay. So I will set the growth state. This is a bug that they have never fixed even though they are aware of it and it is recognized as a bug and it does drive me nuts because I shouldn't have to do this. And she is stalking like a werewolf and I'm not sure why she has the mental skill going above her head. Not sure, but that's fine. Meanwhile, Mr. Kent here is learning to ride his bike. And it's time to go to school. Have a great day. Make good choices for both of you. We'll see you soon. I like the fact that he rode through the house before he went to school. That's great. We got a little bit of rally the troops, so Lily has her family feeling fantastic for the day. She feels fantastic for the day. Why don't you take a shower? And I do have Kawhi Stacy's education system, so my kids do get character values as well as skills at school and skills while they're working on their homework. Love that mod. And while I am a non-cheater, I don't consider that so much cheating because that just makes sense. But for the purpose of an actual challenge, I do disable it. Shake that water off, Miss Lily. Get that going. Okay, just like a dog. She's got that little bit of a dog in her. Not gonna lie. And husband, are we, how are we doing? Okay, so you're ready to program. Oh, but you have no charisma. Well, I mean, you've got some, but not enough. Uh, let it go. There we go. And Kent, why don't you go to work? Have a good day. Lily, oh yeah, swim in the pool. That's great. I've got ideas for you though. As soon as Kent is out of the house, we're gonna go do something else. And I do love teleportation. Let's go ahead and get that done. And yay. All right, so, oh, what are you doing? You do not need water. You need to go fishing. This will be your second location. And in my first attempt here, I did actually catch Greg's diary. That is the last piece of the puzzle that I need in order to solve her lycanthropy. Or lycanthropy. And oh, kids are home. And she's got up. Uh, grades are up. Let's see. If I switch him over. Let's see. Da -da -da, mental... And he just finished that one. Yay. That was hard. I'm actually going to see if I can start this here. Okay, yes. So the kids are here and I'm going to have them work on their homework at the library. That makes perfect sense. Meanwhile, they'll meet other wolfy people. Shared commonality. We love that. Lily has just maxed her fishing skill, which is great. I mean, I don't actually need her to do that. She did a lot of it as a kid when she was living with mom and dad here in Moonwood. Okay, can get those kids into condition. And, oh, she she caught the cow plant bone. Love that. And I didn't make sure that I had all the perks. And I can probably buy, like, all the perks right now. So we're just gonna because we can. We've been building these up. And of the new skills in the horse pack, the only one that is included is the writing skill, not the nectar making. Found that one out. And I now have all the perks that I want with only 251 points left. But that's okay, we'll learn more, but it's not like I need to. So my little girl is having issues from being a small werewolf. That's okay, let's go ahead and play some violin that'll make you happier. She's having a beastly growth spurt. And my little boy, you need to work on your bike skills. Sure, why don't we ride it in the library? That's awesome. Not at all disruptive to the people trying to read. That's great. And Kent, now that you've got that charisma that you need, why don't you go work on a side job? Great job with that. We love that for you. 
and not being in a tiny home it doesn't take it's not quite as fast but at least she's getting it done and Lily you're still doing great we love that for you and Reginald you have completed yet another aspiration so that's the fourth one that we've completed in this LP that's great and next we're going to go ahead and do mind and body he needs to become confident well we're going to do that the easy way we're going to buy a confident potion from from mom and then give it to him drink that confident potion Reginald and that's kind of wonky all right drink the confident potion all right now learn to ride a bike we're going to do more of that bike riding we are going to ask Kent for help with riding that bike because that's kind of a sweet moment. Hey, Dad, will you please teach me how to ride a bike? Well, most certainly, son. Let's go and do it right here. Or, oh, well, okay, don't do that. Let's try again. Ask Kent for help. He's loving on his trash. That's great. And still, we need help riding the bike. Where is it? Where'd the bike go? All right, little sister, you have finished that. So we're going to move forward with a new aspiration for you, which is going to be motor. And we're going to go ahead and have you take a quick bubble bath right here in the library because I changed the showers into bathtubs. Yep. And Lily caught some more stuff. She still hasn't caught the diary of Gregoria's Lundvik, but that's okay. It does seem like we've got a little more space here in the gym to ask. No, seriously. Okay, Kent, not, not that. You ask Kent for help with riding a bike. We're gonna get this done. We gotta get it done. Come on, Dad, show me how to... Ride a bike. Kent. Seriously. Kent, I keep tell, telling you no and you keep starting. Will you show me how to ride a bike, Dad? I'm getting irritated. I am just going to take your autonomy right away from you because this is pissing me off. Not going to lie. Now, seriously, Ken, will you help me learn how... He did it again. I took his autonomy away. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work. Let's just reset and... Will you, ask, will you help me learn how to ride a bike, Dad? Oh, sure. Now, since I have no choice in the matter. Yep. And Reginald has started a picky eater phase. Hopefully, that won't be that big of a deal. Last time I tried this, it was the bear phase, which is so much more fun. Okay, so we've got some good things going. We're going to have this kid working on his bike riding skills. Lily, have you caught what I need you to catch? I really need her to catch this diary. Still doing great over here, Lily. That's awesome. How's your rage? You're fine. You're fine, but you will rage out sometime today, which is great for you. And it is a full moon officially tonight. And it's actually almost 8 o'clock. We should return home. Hmm. Now this werewolf shelf does not actually fit with the aesthetic of the house. But Lily found quite a few relics. So let's go ahead and take advantage of that. So we've got the cow plant jawbone. The cow plant skull. Let's see. We've got that one. They automatically slip to go into the one that they're, the place that they're supposed to go to. And that's what we've collected so far. So great job, Lily. Still didn't get the diary, but we'll go back. We're going to get the kids oh, all in good shape. And now, hey, let's, let's do something. Let's work on this thing called marriage. Fun, social, and hygiene all at the same time. We love that for you. Great, get one more rally of the troop in before your husband has to go to work. And scratch those fleas. 
Great job. Oh, the nibs to do. So I am here at Magnolia Blossom just to get one more location to fish. Why don't you go fishing and complete this level of this aspiration. There we go. Now back to Moonwood Mill. So we're ready to go fishing. She needs to mount or bowl five fish. Let's choose collectibles and we will mount 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 and mount okay that part done now she needs to fish for 10 hours that's fine now this is Lake Lundvig and tonight is actually a full moon if I wanted to I could actually turn Rose into a werewolf tonight in fact I could actually turn her into a merwolf because she has the dormant werewolf gene and Lily is so close to rage oh hi Elsa and did anyone notice how they gave Elsa the same hairstyle that Queen Elsa has in Frozen anyone anyone yeah I'm sure that was not coincidental all right, she is so close to raging out, which is great for her. Bye, Elsa. Why are you wearing a swimsuit when it's cold? Are you seriously gonna? You're, you're making a mess in swimsuit when it's cold in the water. Oh dear. But yeah, she's so close to raging out. It's so right there. In the meantime, she's getting those fishing skills. And the kids are home from school, so let's bring them here. Caitlin's fun is low, so we're gonna have her buy some earbuds and listen to music while she does other things. And there's Uncle David. Hey, good to see you, Uncle David. All right, so Caitlin, we've got you some earbuds in. Why don't you go play your typing game? And Reginald, why don't you work on your homework? in the snow and David Kitty's calling do you want to answer like seriously he could literally join her from here okay just saying maybe she'll have him join her that's fine we're gonna say no oh, yeah. and there's her mom dry jogging through Moonwood Mill look at her go who's had six babies by the way sex tuplets well they probably were born individually but at this point they're sex tuplets and we might go take care of that someday. And she's over here. So close to rage. We're watching this. So close. So close. And yeah, only if it lasts less than a fortnight. No, not going to happen. We are not really wanting to play the Hunger Games. Reginald's got new fang pain from being a small werewolf. That's sad. You are so close, so close, Lily. So close, we'll take care of this eventually. Kent brought home an independent consultant. Yay, Kent, way to go. And Lily, you are so close to raging out. Look at this. Now, the last time I played, she raged out and then I had her start, started to uh, fish again. And even though it was a full moon, she never raged out all night. Possibly because it's so relaxing to fish. And talking with werewolves in the local library is not that big of a deal when you're a little werewolf. Oh, good job. You earned your high score. Dislikes fishing? No, you are not allowed to dislike fishing. And she raged out when I wasn't watching her. Why don't you attempt to regain control? Oh, why don't you try to regain control yeah okay there we go perfect the swimsuit was kind of funny and he finally got his learn how to ride a bike so now he needs to go 12 hours without a negative need mood lift oh look at you go look at you go riding your bike through moonwood mill we love this for you Little sister has earned a high score on the typing game and her fun is high, so let's get some homework done. 
And there's Grandpa Christopher in full wolf form on a wolf full moon. Of course, he's a genius and he's very family oriented, so we love him. Of course, even though he's married to a werewolf, I'm not sure Kent is actually aware of it because he is afraid of his father-in-law or grandfather-in-law. And Caitlin is finishing up. She's actually level seven of her motor skill. She just got that. Good job. One. That's number two across the monkey bars. Look at you go. I remember doing that. <laughs> And one more time. Look at you go. And I will actually have her do a little bit of yoga so she gets both mental and, there we go, and motor. Because that's a bonus. The moon is affecting her, but she hasn't got any desire to rage out. And again, I'm thinking this is because she's fishing and it's calming. And she's fine. Just fine. Although little Reginald here and Caitlin, they're both they're both very angry. We've got to work on that. Send both the kids to take cold showers. Uh I don't think that counts as a negative need moodlet because his needs are in good shape, but yeah, that's bad. And Lily is still fine over here. It's 2 o'clock. She's not wolfing out. We're really proud of her. Hopefully she'll catch that diary, which is, again, the last piece of the puzzle. Caitlin is almost finished with this. Reginald, I don't know what to do with you. Reginald, let's get that social up and maybe, you know, work on your... Oh! <laughs> Maybe we'll get some badges. Okay, we... <laughs> and you're earning empathy. That's great. And Caitlin, good job. You've got that done. And Caitlin is still in a really pissant mood, but not too bad to become best friends with her brother. There we go. And we'll work on that social. And Reginald finally finished the mind and body. So great job, Reginald. And let's see. We've got one more creative genius to go. And he will be ready to grow up to teenage. Yay. And because Caitlin's social is low, I'm actually going to have her make friends until her social is better. But we'll go ahead and take care of some other needs. And who's calling now to complain about our kids? Uh, too young for kissing. Lo raises manners and lowers emotional control. Raises emotional control, lowers manners. And conflict rose. Let's do that one. Okay. Not that I care too much. And let's give Cece a big treat. Hi, hey, honey. There you go. And 11 whole simoleons from time-wasting application. Making that was a waste of time. And it's Power Conservation Day, so I think we should just go right back to Moonwood Mill. Three days in a row. And Lily needs to catch some fish with bait, so there you go. And hopefully we will catch that diary. I'm really hoping. And for no apparent reason, somebody asked if I want to purchase goats or sheep. And you know, when you're a wolf, you probably shouldn't own sheep. Just saying. Mm -hmm. And it was actually a werewolf who asked. That looks like lunch. Just saying. And for anyone who's curious, my guess is the reason that the black sheep is the most expensive is because actually historically black wool has been considered the most valuable since black is the hardest color to create n dyes for in history until we had artificial dyes. Because somebody was like, I wonder why they're so expensive. Well, that's it. The song Baba Black Sheep, 
Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame, one for the little boy that lives in the lane. Yeah, that's because black wool is the most valuable. Just saying. And Lily finished. She caught five fish. She's up to 20 types of fish. Good job. She might actually complete this kind of accidentally. And okay, so let's bring everybody here. And it's so sad that Kent is married to a werewolf and has two werewolf children because currently he's terrified. But his wife has never rampaged around him as far as I know. Now this is actually one that I saw for the first time uh, last week is somebody fainting from fear. And that was actually in a haunted house. And this guy is not dying as far as I know. I think he just passed out. And not passed out from lack of energy, but from fear. So, yeah. And so Lily has not caught that diary yet, like she did last time. But I'm going to call it quits right now. And hopefully on the next episode, which hopefully will be the last episode. Oh, good. One of the sages just came, <laughs> rode up, and left. That's kind of nice. Anyway, so I'm hoping that on the Ooh. next episode she will catch that diary. And I please comment, like, and subscribe. I'm Ooh. hoping to move she... forward with the horse yes. ranch oh, pack. I'm hoping maybe we can even move forward with this family. And it's only going to happen if they've been cured of their mm -hmm. lycanthropy. Anyway, I will see you soon in the pixelated world, and that's all I have to say. Uh -huh. VK out. <laughs> Ooh.